Hello, I'm Baron Baptiste. I'm a global yoga ambassador for Lululemon. Welcome to this 45 minute practice with Derek, who will be modifying the poses and, and the practice in general, and Ariel, who's going to just be bringing it fully. They're both awesome yogis, and I am um, excited to share this practice with you. Take care of yourself, challenge yourself, and be with the whole practice as it is and as it is not, and uh, let's get started. Come into child's pose, pose of the child. Take your big toes touching, your knees, your thighs toward the outer edges of the mat. Now really get into a forward bend, spine extending, let your head drop. And then come into downward facing dog. Yeah, and right here, really get connected to your hands, your feet, the earth. You can move around as you like or not. Moving into stillness or moving as a way of feeling and accessing your whole body from the floor up into the core of your body. Ujjayi, the breath, deep and free. So you're bringing breath into and out of your body moment by moment on purpose with a deeper sense of purpose, the purpose being to cleanse, to renew, to let go of anything old, to bring new energy in to every nook and cranny, your whole body. Now walk your hands to your feet, Uttanasana. Take opposite hand, opposite arm, and sway from side to side. So here you're just loosening up. You can work with your knees bent or legs straight. The weight of your head drop. Come to center and come into downward facing dog. And give yourself a lot of space between your hands and feet just from the sense of exploration. Uh, do it in a way, maybe you've never done this pose before, starting from the base, from the foundation up, up into the center of your pelvis, like that. And then walk your feet up to your hands. Uttanasana. Lift halfway up, extending, breathe in, and bow forward, breathe out. And lift halfway up again, and downward facing dog pose. Good, and walk your hands to your feet, Uttanasana. Bend your knees a bit, bringing your chest to your thighs. Good. Interlock your hands at your low back. And shoulders into your back. Good. And wrap your arms forward over your head. Let the weight of your head drop. Let the nectar flow. Move your hips forward a bit. Mm -hmm. And straighten your legs even a little more. Pull your kneecaps up to the pelvis. Wrap your arms even <laughs> further forward. Bring your hands to the mat. Good. Downward facing dog. Again, lots of length and space at the base. Walk your feet up to your hands. Nice. Lift halfway up. Breathe in. Lengthen. And exhale, yogi bow. Nice. Halfway up. Breathe in. Lengthen. Spine out of the pelvis. Downward facing dog. Good. Step your right foot forward to your right hand. Bring your back knee down to the mat. Take your arms up to the sky. Keep your back toes tucked. Yeah, and now lift your back knee up off the mat. Good, breathe in, look up, pull up and back, and downward facing dog. Good. And step your left foot forward to your left hand, back knee down, reach up. Good, deep breathing, take your drishti up. Back toes are tucked, good. Lift your back knee and your back thigh to the sky, zip it up. Pull into the belly and up and out, up and up and out of your chest. Hands opening. Good. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Uttanasana. Shake your head around. Yes and no and let it all go. Drop your head and drop your arms. Go really just relax. Let the nectar flow from your pelvis down through your torso to your brain, softening the brain, calming the brain. Deep, deep breathing. Very deep breathing. Life-altering breaths. Each breath, a life-altering experience. <laughs> and then downward-facing dog. And walk your feet up to your hands. Lift halfway up, breathe in. And bow forward, exhale. Root down and rise up to the sky. 
and Samastitihi, arms alongside your body, hands to Anjali Mudra. We'll take three ohms. Inhale. Um. up, reach up, breathe in, and bow forward, exhale, lift halfway up, breathe in, nice, and chaturanga dandasana, your low plank, you can modify here as you need to, and then upward dog, breathe in, big opening, chest opening, heart opening, drishti lifting, and then downward facing dog, good work, take a deep, deep breath out, so press your hands, feet, arms, legs down, pull your belly up, look forward, jump forward, and lift halfway up, breathe in, and yogi bow, hug in deep, good, root down and rise up, exhale, bow, nice, and halfway up, inhale, vinyasa, chaturanga dandasana, low plank, upward dog, and downward facing dog, good. Set your eyes, deep, deep breathing, deep breathing. Arm bones to the sky, spine softening to your chest, good. Take a deep breath out and press the floor, pull your belly up into the core, look forward and jump. Halfway up, inhale, um, do the jump again. With a little, do the jump again, back to down dog. Do the jump with a little more oomph. You kind of, the jump is fun, right? You guys like the jump? Do you get, right? Like take five jumps, how about that? Five, with each, the intention of each jump of your feet to your hands, you get lighter and work, work more from core. Go ahead, five hops. Each one get, yeah, nice. Bring in the float, pressing your arms, Point up to the belly. Really nice, Ariel. Yeah. Five. Each one lighter, more integrated, more connected, more lined up, having fun, be at play. There's no right way, but looking for the way that gives you the most power, the most flow, the most quality of weightlessness. Bend your knees. Utkatasa. Thunderbolt pose. Good. Separate your hands. Spread. Pull your fingers out of your hands. Breathe out here. On the inhalation, sit five feet down. <laughs> five inches. How about that? Three more inches down. Oh, two more inches. A little lower. A little lower. Sit even deeper. Chest up. Chest up. Look up. Look up. Breathe in. Sit even deeper, deeper, deeper. Just like that. Perfect. Bow forward. Exhale. Ah. Oh. Halfway up. Breathe in. Crow pose. Crow. Just have fun. Set your hands. Bring your legs up into the arms. Squeeze your arms, your legs into center. Really good. Get your feet activated. Inner edges of your feet pressing. Spread your toes. Those are your tail feathers. Breathe in and chaturanga dandasana, exhale, upward dog, breathe in, downward dog, breathe out, now right leg forward, warrior one, back foot flat, reach up, look up, pull up and back from your feet to core, up and back, even more, and chaturanga, nice, upward dog, breathe in, downward dog, left leg forward, warrior one, from point A to B, look up, inhale, up and back, pull up and back, good, and down, chaturanga dandasana, flow low, and upward dog, breathe in, downward dog, breathe out. A deep, deep breath in, and a sigh. Ah, ah. Once more, big breath in, and a sigh out. Ah. Okay, I'm sensing the hops are happening today. So let's do some more hops. How about five hops? And just like hopping into freedom, jumping into freedom. 
jumping, leaping into possibility with each hop, bringing in, yeah, really good, Derek, that lightness, the connected upness, that weightlessness, that enlightenmentness. <laughs> good. Mm hmm. Awesome. Just like that, be at play. <laughs> There's no right way. It's perfectly imperfect. <laughs> it's the way to go. But you're challenging. You're at the edge, right? You're kind of at the dance of that growing, expanding edge of some kind of new strength, new power, new freedom, new flow. Okay, really good. Let's take a halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, bow. Bend your knees, Utkatasana, Thunderbolt, inhale, bow forward, exhale, lift halfway up, inhale, Vinyasa, Chaturanga, low plank, upward dog, downward facing dog, right leg forward, back foot flat, reach up, look up, inhale, Vinyasa, Chaturanga, upward dog, inhale, downward dog. Left leg forward, back foot flat, point A to point B, C, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Lift your uh, heels up to the sky. Pin your arms into the earth. Lift your upper arm bones into your back. Lift your right leg to the sky. Bend the upper leg, flip dog. Kick it on over, flip into freedom, open your throat, be free from the floor, three points to the floor, pulling up into core, even more. You could bend the upper elbow, I bet, and find the shoulders integrating more deeply into your back, then set your fingers straight down into the mat or into the floor. Oh, look at that. Nice. Or Vedanurasan. And then you'll come right back up the way you went down, slow as can be. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Feet together in down dog. Lift your heels to the sky. Feet together, it's good. Spin your heels to the right, left hand to the sky, side plank. Nice. Yeah, it's really good. Take a leg down like Derek has. Take a leg down, could put your feet up. Could take one leg up to the sky, upper leg to the sky. Got that one, yeah, awesome. Really good, open your chest, open, open. And bend the upper knee, take your toes behind you to the mat. Go over here, check out this way, this direction over here, nice. Shoulders into your back, bend this arm. Cactus arms. Oh, squeeze your, yeah, shoulder blades into your back. Open your heart. Open, open, open. Really good. Downward dog. Ha, ha. Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge. Reach your arms up to the sky. Lift your back knee to the high. You're good for this one. Warrior three. You'll step into the front leg. Steady, really good, deep breathing. Airplane, bring your arms alongside your body, steady. Bring your hands to Anjali Mudra, your heart center. For bound half moon, bring your spider hand to the floor, fingertips or the block, great. Now bend the upper leg, yeah, and go for the upper foot, really good. Now press the big toe ball of your standing foot down into the earth, the ball of the big toe down. Scoop your tailbone into your body. Really create a beautiful resistance between your arm, upper arm and leg, and creating that bow energy and pull your tailbone in. Ball of the big toe grounding, chest opening, Look up, look up, big, bright, bold, beautiful, full expression, boundless, and bow forward. Really good. Lift halfway up, inhale. Crow pose, Bakasana, the crow. Ready, yogi, on your mark, good. The blocks are good, set, and go. One, two, three, keep pulling into the center. Look forward a bit. Lower your hips, lift your heart, 
Breathe in and chaturanga, float. Up dog. Look up, look up, look up. Oh, good. Down dog. <laughs> Deep breathing. Take your feet together. Lift your heels to the sky and your left leg to the sky. Bend your upper knee and flip your dog. Flip dog. Have fun. Be free as can be. Opening the whole front side of your body. Big opening. Yeah, like a goalpost kind of arm action here. Squeeze your shoulders into your back, then open your chest. Big opening. And then slowly come back to downward dog. Feet together. Spin your heels to the right, to the left. Heels to the left. And then right hand to the sky. Good. Really good. Drishti to the high, through your upper thumb. And then take your top leg to the sky. Top leg goes up. So from the floor, integrate both feet, legs, both hands, arms, tightening, pulling into center, and then a softening from center out and expanding, a softening, a breathing that's deep, free, healing, and purifying. And bend your upper knee, take your upper toes to the mat behind you, or any variation at play here. Be at play. Play as a way of looking, discovering for new ways of doing the pose. There's an infinite way, there's no right way, it's just the exploration, the discovery of what's available right here, going with the energy as a creative, artistic, free expression in your body. Okay, slowly come up to downward facing dog. <laughs> Good work. And then take a deep breath out, look forward, step your left leg forward, crescent lunge, high lunge. You'll go up. This time cross your thumbs, bend your elbows a little bit, good. Pull your shoulders into your back. Mm -hmm. Now you could straighten your elbows, keep your shoulders to your back, straighten your arms, not completely, or however you can, straighten to as much as you can through your arms. Take a deep breath in, drishti forward, and step into your front leg, warrior three pose. Yeah, standing like a T, drishti steady, deep, deep breathing. Arms alongside your body like airplane wings. Bring your hands to your heart center, Anjali Mudra. Bring your left hand to the mat, spider fingers, or yeah, use the block, good. Bound half moons, so you'll bend the upper leg, catch the upper foot or the shin, really good, and then tighten the bow, creating the resistance from your arm and leg, dynamic resistance, scooping your tailbone in, ground down through the ball of your big toe, the floor, ground down into the floor, Zip up your legs into the center of the pelvis. Scoop your tailbone. Open your heart. Open your chin. Look up. Yeah, open your chin. Open your throat. That's it. Open your throat even more. Go for the full bow, the full play, full expression, and bow forward. Nice. Good. Lift halfway up. Breathe in. Crow pose. Bakasana, the crow. Free as can be, ready, yogi on the mark, get set, and fly high above it all. <laughs> One, two, three, four, breathe in for five, chaturanga dandasana, upward dog, and downward facing dog. <sighs> Take a deep, deep breath out, empty, look forward, and you'll take five hops, uh, like frog, leapfrogs, or five, yeah, jumps, leaps, hops, floats, yeah, good, each one tightening in the center, even more so, allowing for more flow and balance. A little pause, really nice, Derek. Oh, and really nice, Ari, that pause at the top, it's kind of lingering at the top of the jump for a pause. A breath, good. Mm -hmm. Just five. 
Just a happy, free, flowing five. <laughs> not trying hard, not over-efforting, just bringing it, pure and simple, bring it. And then a deep breath out, look forward, and you'll jump forward to the top of your mat. Lift halfway up, breathe in, and bow, breathe out. Bend your knees deep, Utkatasana, reach up. Breathe here. Now take a deep breath out here. Empty your lungs. Now on the in-breath, sit down deep. You can sink back into your heels, shins back. Take a deep breath out again. On the inhalation, sit down even deeper, deeper. Navasana, boat pose. Yeah, one. Good. Kind of light. <laughs> light, two. Good. Three. Arms uh, horizontal to the floor. Good. Three, four. Purifying, this is a purifying fire. The tapas are rising, the cleansing, heat, the healing heat. Receive it, welcome it. So, this is so, so healthy. And then gently, you'll come back up to Utkatasana, thunderbolt pose. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath out. The, on, on the in-breath, sit all the way down to Navasana, boat pose. Graceful as can be, good, steady, awesome. One, two, three, four, five. Utkatasana, thunderbolt pose. Nice, good. Making it look easy, you guys. Bow forward. Ah, oh, this will feel good. Ha, ha. Shake your head, yes and no. Really good. And then lift halfway up, breathe in. Catch your hips with your hands, breathe out. Root down and rise up to standing. Take your arms up to the sky, inhale. Eagle pose, take your right arm under your left arm. The eagle. Mm -hmm. And right leg over your left leg. Yeah, lift your arms a bit so that your elbows are like at shoulder level. Move your wrists forward over your Elbows a bit. Yeah, just open up this whole space. Then pin your arm bones toward your back or, yeah, deltoids into your back. Really good. From the center of your standing heel, squeeze both legs into one. Heel to the crown, root to rise, and reverse sides. Left arm under, left leg over. One. Deep breathing. Two. Yeah, really pull your fingers out of your hands, out of your knuckles. Three, so you lift your arm bones a little bit. Then pin your arm bones into your back. Thoracic spine into your chest, really good. Two legs squeezing into one from the center of your standing heel up through your crown. And reverse sides, good. Right arm under, right leg over. Ready, drishti. One, santosha. Santosha is total contentment. Totally content and a quality of dissatisfaction. Like total contentment, how the pose is, how it feels, how it doesn't feel. Also, kind of unsatisfied. You're in a discovery, growing out like a tree, growing up toward the light, continually growing and then reverse sides, totally content, and at the same time, it's a little not satisfied in a good way, a positive way, looking for what's the next pathway, the next opening, the next free space to move into physically, a growth. And then samastitihi, arms alongside your body. Let's take dancer's pose. So you'll take your, catch your right foot with your right hand. We'll take the variation, which allows for more of an external rotation. You'll lift your right hip up a bit. Tighten the bow. Good. Mm-hmm. Drishti. So really, yeah, creating the resistance between the arm and upper leg. Press the ball of the big toe down on your standing foot. The bottom surface of your standing foot even to the floor. 
ground down, pull up into your core, express out, expand out from the center out more. Okay, really good, and reverse sides. Ha, just keep bringing the breath. Okay, good, catch your left leg or foot, and then extending front to back and simultaneously pulling in. So both shoulder, yeah, pinning to your back, both legs, feet, legs activating, pulling up into center, pull your belly in. So we contract in and the pulsation of expansion out. Contract in, expand, pulse out. Bigger breath, bigger expression, and then samastitihi. Nice. And then tree pose. Bring your right foot to your inner left thigh. And Anjali Mudra. That's a good modification. I bet you could bring your foot up. You're ready for that. <laughs> That's good, though. So if you really need to modify, Derek had the um, free foot up, but he had the toes on the floor. That's a good variation. And most of you, just see if you can get the like foot higher up into the thigh. Really good, just like Derek has, like Ari has. And then lace your fingers, extend your arms up to the sky. Nice. Now squeeze in, two legs into one, ground down, take your drishti up through your hands, pull your belly in, soften your right hip down. Yeah, squeeze into center, root down deeper, extend up even higher. The deeper the roots, the taller the tree growing toward the light, and sama stitihi, nice. Tree pose, other side without any further ado. You know what to do. Left foot comes right up to the inner right thigh. Squeeze in. Anjali Mudra. Hands to your heart center. Interlace your fingers. Extend your arms up to the sky. Keep pulling. Again, it's like a pulsation on the breath. You're pulling, you're pressing, pulling the extremities into the center on exhalation, a tightening in. And on the inhalation, deeper roots, rooting, pulling your heart up, eyes up. Maybe you play with going back, up and back. Drishti leading, body following. Where your drishti goes, the energy flows, the body follows. And then sama, stitihi, yogi. <laughs> okay. Look up, reach up, inhale, and bow forward, exhale. Lift halfway up, inhale, for crow pose. Ready? And now you've been done a few crows by now, so they're really, it's right here. You've warmed up, you've mobilized for this pose, so bring it. Free as can be, a whole new crow, never before. Two, three, four, breathe in. For five, chaturanga, low plank. Up dog, inhale, and downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg steps forward, triangle, trikonasana. Right leg forward, back foot flat. Mm -hmm. Right hand stays down on the block um, or on the mat. If you have a block, let's use it. Yeah, you could use, yeah, really good. Press your five fingers down. And let's play with your stance. Take your feet further apart than maybe usual, that you'd usually do, what's typical for you. Yeah, nice like long base, foundation. Bend your front knee for a moment. Scoop your tailbone, take your front femur into your center line more, good. Now from your feet, ground the feet down into the earth and zip up your legs. You'll tighten the leg muscles into the bones. And then take your chin, turn and look through your upper hand and you could spread your fingers, or fingers can be together, just even, energetically expressing your drishti steady, and then come up to standing, root down to rise up. Mm -hmm. Turn your feet to 12 o'clock, both feet to 12 o'clock. Interlace your hands behind your back. Pull your shoulders into your back. 
root your feet down through the center of each heel and pull your chest up, your heart up, your drishti up, maybe even a little bit back. Scoop your tailbone, breathe in. Good, and then bow forward, hinge at your hips. Head down, wrap your arms forward and around. This should feel really good. It's a deep, deep rinsing, breathing, allowing. And then bring your hands down and catch your big toes with your peace fingers. Pull halfway up, breathe in, lengthen, and then yogi bow. Yeah, crown down toward the mat. Play around. You can round your back here, flexing your spine a bit as an access. You can also play with straightening the spine by taking your deltoids, your shoulders to your back more, mm -hmm. and then hinging at your hips. You could also bend your knees a little. Yeah, bending the knees lengthens and releases the hamstrings, which will allow you to access more through your, from your pelvis into your spine. Move your hips forward toward your toes a little bit more. As your heels start to get light, that's good. Leave your hips here forward, but now pin your heels down into the earth. And from the earth, your rising prana, apana, up through your pelvis, deepening even more. And then release your feet. Catch your hips with your hands, root to rise. Take your arms out, inhale. Reverse namaskara, exhale, hands between your shoulder blades, or yeah, you could catch opposite hand to opposite arm. Now open your right foot and leg, like you had for triangle, but you want to shorten your stance a bit. We're setting up for Parsvatanasana, so you'll turn your hips to aim, yeah, straight ahead, forward. If your hips were headlights, you want your the headlights aiming forward. Now root down through your feet and legs and pull up through your belly, up through your heart, eyes up, breathe in, maybe go back a little bit. Have fun at play from your front leg grounding. Smiling, a smile will take you a mile deeper into <laughs> your flow, and then downward facing, bow forward over your poor, over your front leg. Now, be a little in a dance here with where's the balance between the front and back leg and up into the pelvis. So, as you bend your front knee, pull your bring the weight into your front leg, lift your right hip higher, right hip higher. Turn your back heel in a little bit, more forward. Mm -hmm. Play like that. Soften your back knee a little. If your knees you get too straight, if you lock too straight, you lose some mobility. There you go. Now pull your outer right hip back. Good. Lift your right hip a little bit higher. That's for you, Derek. That's really good. Ari, good. Your hips look centered. And then twisting triangles. So you'll lift halfway up, and you'll take your left arm down, right arm up. Yeah, block is good. Really good. Here, why don't you even use the block? Nice. Root down, press down, pull into the center, twist, 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 breathe in, and bow forward. Downward dog. <sighs> Left leg forward, triangle pose, trikonasana. Yeah, good. Feet wide. Go for a deep base. Have fun. Be at play. Nice. Yeah. Bending the front knee is great. And then as you bend the front knee for a moment, then take your front femur, your front hip, your front tail, your tailbone moves into your body. And the front femur, the front thigh, the head of the front thigh moves in. Pull your belly in, root your legs down. You could straighten your legs and zip the legs up into your pelvis and open even more. You could open your throat. Yeah, say hi to the friends at home. <laughs> and then come up slow to standing. You'll come all the way up, catch your hips, feet on 12 o'clock, root down and rise up, look up. Take it back a little bit, root to rise. Inhale, <laughs> and then bow forward, exhale. Bring your hands between your feet at the floor, around shoulder width, and lift halfway up, breathe in. Nice, and bow forward. So you align your fingertips to your toe tips, like that, kind of, yeah. And then bend your elbows and wrap them in toward the width of your wrists, or shoulder, toward shoulder width. 
Bring your head down, the crown down, move your pelvis forward toward your toes a bit. And as you plug your heels down, lift your hamstrings up to the sky, and then catch your hips, root down, and rise up to standing. Nice. <laughs> Take your arms out, inhale. Reverse namaskara. Good. And then open your left leg. Mm -hmm. And step your back leg in. So again, you'll center up to the wall in front of you. Left hip back, right hip forward. Root down through your legs. Turn your back foot more toward a 60 degree angle even, yeah. And then uplift, so press down, pull up, zip up into core, go up and back a bit, up and back. Breathe in and pour forward over your front leg. Good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Deep breathing. Deep, deep. Breathe, flow of breath moving into and out of your body. These movements are very natural to our body and how our body is designed to move. And then adding this kind of breath flow and this quality of attention creates what we call tapas, the, the arising heat from the inside out. It's a cleansing heat, a cleansing fire. Now take a deep breath out, lift halfway up. And then you'll take twisting triangle. So right hand down and free up your upper arm, extending through your upper arm. Really good. Shoulders into your back. Pull your outer left hip back. So you release your hips back, your chest forward. On inhalation, expansion. On exhalation, rotation, twist. Lower lung forward, upper lung back. Lower lung forward, upper lung back, twist even more. Oh, yeah, that's it. The lights go on. <laughs> and then bow. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow low. Upward facing dog, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Really good. Now bring your right foot to the outside of your left hand. Right for half pigeon. Right foot to the outside of your left hand. Mm -hmm. And bring your back knee down. Keep your back toes tucked. For a moment, yeah, and you can use a block under your right hip if you like, if that supports you, it's really good. You could bow forward if that's available, or you can stay upward, whatever's here for you. Really good, and deep, deep breathing, deep breathing. Just let go, allow your left hip to lower down. So there's a balance of holding from both feet into both legs into the pelvis, there's the holding, there's a affirming, and then there's also the deep releasing, the opening, the letting, the experience, the pose work for you, allowing gravity to do the work with you and for you. Breath moving deeply into and out of your whole body. And then downward facing dog pose, good. And then we'll take the other side. So bring your left foot to the outside of your right hand. You'll bring your left knee down toward the left wrist. Set it up. Tuck your back toes for a moment. Kind of find the energetic line from the back leg up to the pelvis. Yeah, really good. Just keeping the lines, the energetic lines from your hands through your arms into your torso, from your feet, legs into the pelvis. The belly is kind of held firm a bit. As you breathe, breathe deep and purposeful into the pelvis, into the center of your body. Uh, even just envision the breath moving into the core, the deep core, the earth, earth's core of your body. <laughs> and you're exhaling out any tightness, any old held energy, just letting it dissolve in the heat of the cleansing breath, and then downward facing dog pose. Really good. And then walk about halfway up your mat, feet walking up, bring your knees to the mat, lift your feet up and cross your ankles, and you'll roll over your feet onto your back, come into Setu Bandhasana, the bridge pose. 
Mm -hmm. Just take a happy bridge, breath deep and free, arm bones, yeah, toward into your back as you ground down into the floor, through your feet, shoulders, even the back of your skull, pressing the front of the body opening, inner thigh spinning toward the earth, sacrum spreading, expanding, and then you could take a wheel pose if that's here for you, or stay in bridge, bridge or the wheel, Urdhva Dhanurasana. You'll ground down, shoulder integration, pin your shoulders into your back, root to rise up, really good. Look between your feet, you could walk your yeah, feet in closer to your hands if that's here for you. If you play around with lifting your heels, you could lower your heels. You could lift your right leg up into your chest. Yeah, you could bring your left leg up into your chest. Maybe bring the right foot down first, then the left leg up <laughs> into your chest. Good. And bring both feet down. Catch your right thigh with your right hand. Nice. And then catch your left thigh with your left hand. Tongue in your mouth, deep breathing, <laughs> good, really good, and bring both hands down, root down to rise up, big opening, lifting up, inhale, and then tuck your chin, lift your heels slightly, and good work, really nice. Lift your knees into your chest, take happy dead bug pose, so you'll catch the baby toe edges of your feet, take your knees wide, you'll pull your legs down into the mat, and here, just really let your spine unravel. Let any, uh, any residual holding or anything from the practice or just from life. And then gently, um, you'll take an inversion of your choice. So you'll take, you could take waterfall pose. You could take the block into your pelvis and lift your legs straight up to the sky. You could take shoulder stand. Ari's got shoulder stand handled over here. Derek's got waterfall pose here. And the idea is to go upside down and just be really steady, come into a quality of quiet, calm, peaceful stillness. You're allowing gravity to, you know, the reversal of the usual typical flow. And then you could take plow pose. Ari, you could take your feet behind your head to the floor. Trishti, Ujjayi, Tapas, the healing fire of Vinyasa. And you could bring your knees to your ears, Karna Pidasana. And Shavasana, really nice. And you can just pull yourself apart at the floor, palms facing up, arms alongside your body. Close your eyes and let go of everything. Let go of your mental rope. Release it. Let your brain and your head drop. Feel the pull of gravity. And rather than holding on or resisting, give in. Let go. Feel the floor beneath you, your body's contact to the floor. The firm floor, the firmness of the floor. And let go. Let every muscle drop. Feel your pulse, your heart beat. Feel the rising. Notice the rising and falling of your abdomen, diaphragm with each breath, the natural expanding and contracting quality of each breath. And then very gently roll to your right side into a fetal position, curling up into a, a ball of light, lightness. And from this same side, coming up to a seated position of your choice and Creating your body, your posture powerfully, intentionally. Bring your hands to Anjali Mudra, and we'll take three ohms. 
And bring your thumbs to your forehead center and touch in to the ground of your being, connecting to what's most true for you, to you, of you. And take a deep breath in, and together we say, Namaste.